Hi guys, this is Shivardi. Welcome to Hibernate tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain in detail about first level caching in Hibernate. So first let us look at the concept and then I am going to explain the same concept using an example. So in the case of Hibernate, what happens is whenever you create a session object using the session factory, then by default, the session object is going to hold the data that we call as a first level caching. That means whenever you interact uh, your java application with the database and you each time you are going to use the session object so as long as the session is going to be active that means if you are not closing the session then whatever the data you are saving or you are retrieving uh, retrieving using the session object those will be by default the hibernate is going to be cached so if you see this diagrammatic representation, so this is a client, let us consider a Java application. And then you are calling a get, uh, session dot get of some object. Then first it will look, uh, look for the session, whether the session is available, then it will go and check in the, the first level caches and uh, the first level cache is holding that um, object or not. And if it is available, then the first uh, the Hibernate will hand over the the object which is available in the first level cache to the session and same will be written to the client. For example, if whatever the object the client is getting, which is not available in the first level cache, then it will go to the database and hit the database and execute the query and the return, uh, the database will return the, the corresponding result set. Now what happens is whatever the result it is um, uh, sending back to the uh, client request that will be first placed in the cache and then it is going to uh, provide the same data to the session and finally it is going to give in to the client. So basically what happens is each operation whatever you are performing from the client side as long as the session is active that means if you are not close the session all the data is going to be cached by default by uh, by the hibernate and there is a one possibility for example whenever you are trying to um, working with the session there are some facility hibernate is going to provide always if you want to make sure that it needs to hit the database and then only you need to get the data then it is going to provide you some methods like a evict and the clear which is going to um, clear whatever the cache it is available in the first level it is going to be clear that cache so that what happens is each time when client is going to request for something then instead of um, looking at the first level cache directly it will go and hit the database so let us see this concept using an example so in this example i have um, created a one uh, PO job that is the company as a one PO job here I have a two member on uh, member variables that is the company ID in the company name I also have the default constructor and one is with the parameterized constructor which is going to take the company ID and the company name and then I have created the uh, I have generated the setter getter methods for these two properties and also I override the two string method to just display what is the uh, company ID and the company name okay so this is the simple PO job and in order to work with the hibernate there are two ways you can work whether using the xml based or it is the annotation based so i am going to explain in this uh, example using the uh, xml based so what we need to do is we need to create a uh, company dot uh, hbm file corresponding to the company class so here in the mapping hibernate dot mapping what i am specifying here is class is going to be the company that means it is defined in the com dot siva java techie dot bean dot company and table name whatever i have stored in this uh, uh, to data uh, whatever the data we are planning to store that will be placed in the company table name and here the primary id is going to be the company id and the property second property is the company name now the next thing is you already need to uh, you have to specify the hibernate configure uh, hibernate cfg file in order to talk to the particular in order to hibernate talk to the particular database then we need to provide this config uh, hibernate.cfg.xml file so this is a standard step i already explained how to set up the workspace in my previous tutorial so now the focus is going to be how we can how we need to see um, hibernate will act as a 
uh, act uh, by default it will enable the first level caching so first what i have done is so i have created a session factory using the hibernate.cfg.xml and um, build session factory it is going to create a session factory using the session factory you can create a session so now what happens is once you create a session object as long as the session is going to be open all the data by default hibernate is going to be cached so that is the reason if you see here company name what we are doing here is okay so i am getting the company uh, company uh, with the id 101 so i already saved the data of 101 in the database so now i want to get this uh, one uh, get the id uh, get the company object which is associated to the id 101 now in general if you talk about the general jdbc connection each time when you are executing and you want to retrieve that data then each time what happens is jdbc make a call to the database and it will execute the query and it will return the result set but as hibernate is going to be supported by default caching so now what happens is it is going to execute only one time against the database and second time when you are trying to get the data then it won't uh, um, hit the database as it is already available in the cache now i am executing this program run as java application okay now if you see the output first time it is going to execute the query against the database and then second time and third time when you are trying to retrieve it will not uh, hit the database for example if you see here hibernate first time it has went to the database and had get the select statement against the database and it got the result okay so this is what the first time it has printed if you see this uh, output right first i retrieved successfully first time so till now this is the first time and second time and third time even you are trying to retrieve the same object it is not hitting the database it is directly getting the data from the first level cache so this is what the uh, first level cache by default it is enabled for the hibernate so whatever the cache it is available uh, is going to be only at the session level for example now i am trying to close this session one again i am going to open a new session and i am trying to retrieve the data uh, retrieve the uh, same object and then you can see okay so this is i am calling as a session two and i can i already declare a company variable so i no need to put here so here i will say that this is the uh, successfully retrieved after created new session now i am going to run this program once again now you can see that if you see the output see here so here session one is got sorry here i need to change this one to session two sorry and uh, here i am going one more thing what i am going to do is session uh, two dot close okay now i am running this program again now what happens is for the session one it is going to uh, hit the database and get the result of uh, one type and this this is what so first time we as long as you are not saving uh, not closed the session it will always only one time it will uh, run the query against the database and remaining times how many times you are actually getting the same object it will not hit the database as it is getting the data from the first level cache once you closed the session now hibernate no longer uh, no longer uh, maintains the data which is related to the session one that means that cache is already uh, gone that is the reason for the session two it has create again it went to the database and they executed the query and then fetch the result set so this is the concept of first level caching
now one more concept here is that for example you want to clear the whatever the cache it is available in the um, first level, whatever the data you are trying to retrieve using the session level you want to uh, remove from the first level cache then what you can do is there are two options one is session dot evict is the one method it is available here i am using the company now what happens is once it retrieved the uh, first time it anyhow it is uh, go to the database and it will execute the query second time what happens is it is already available in the first level cache then it will be uh, directly getting from the first level cache once you invoke session dot evict and you pass the company object then what it is the hibernate is going to do is it is going to remove this company object from the first level cache so that is the reason when you again you are trying to get the company object from the session one also it will go to the database and then execute the query get the result and it is going to display now once again i am running this program and you can see that now there will be a three select statements one for the particular uh, see here see the first select uh, statement is this one so when you get the company object first time it will execute and second time you are getting from the session one dot get company within the same session so it will not execute the query it will directly get the uh, cache from uh, data from the cache and then once you session one dot evict method whenever you invoke for the particular object then it will be removed the uh, object from the first level cache that is the reason again when you are trying to get the third type it is trying to go to the database execute the query and it is written the result and you are closing the session so second time again you are opening a new session that is the reason the third select statement it has invoked okay so the third select statement is the you are created for the second um, the different uh, session and one more method is there if you want to clear all the session object related to the particular um, session then we have a method called as a clear so what this clear method is going to do is it is going to remove all the objects which are available in uh, associated to this particular session so that whenever you you even though you are trying to get after that then again it will be considered as a new uh, request to the it will make a new request to the database and it will get the data so once again i am iterating the concepts here whenever client make a request first by default you create a session session will hold the first level cache data whatever the operations you are going to do on the session by default all the things will be cached once you make any request first it will check whether that uh, whatever the data your object is available in the first level cache or not if not then it will go to the uh, database and it will execute and it will return the result and it will be stored in the first level cache same will be written to the client the subsequent request whenever making first it will check for the first level cache it is available as long as session is not closed it will be available or the second option is until you invoke the session on the session object if you are, if you are trying to invoke the evict or the clear at the, till that point of time the uh, data is always will be in the first level cache if you are invoking evict or clear then always the client request will go to the data uh, execute the query against the database and it will place the data in the first level cache and it will be same uh, written to the client hope you are clear with the uh, first level caching in hibernate and if you have any questions please comment on, on my youtube video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel to get more technical videos